Today on China Uncensored, part two of China's secret holocaust. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. Last time we looked at the Chinese regime's secret holocaust, the forced organ harvesting of prisoners of conscience, the vast majority being Falun Gong practitioners. So what is Falun Gong, and why is it being persecuted in China? A lot of it actually goes back to the 60s. Well, it looked a little different in China. China was in the middle of the Cultural Revolution. It was essentially a campaign by Mao Zedong to consolidate his power and wipe out 5,000 years of traditional Chinese culture and replace it with his views on communism. Things got a little crazy. So in the cultural and spiritual vacuum that followed, there was a surge of interest in what's called Qigong. So to grossly oversimplify it, this is YouTube after all, Qigong refers to different types of exercises to enhance the flow of qi or energy through the body. Just think of Tai Chi and you'll be fine. Now, about all the different Qigong that people were learning talked about using it to get fit and healthy, until in 1992 a man named Li Hongzhi introduced Falun Gong. Now, Falun Gong was a little different because it wasn't just about doing exercises. It incorporated a lot of traditional aspects of Chinese culture that Mao had targeted back in the Cultural Revolution, and was just as much about moral improvements as it was physical improvement. And it became really popular. Practice sites sprang up all over China, and even state-run CCTV had some good things to say about it. If you took a walk in the park this morning, you can see that the recent hard work the government has put into public health activities has not been wasted. Every morning starting from 5 to 6 a.m., the city's green grass, parks and public squares become a morning exercise heaven. But by 1999, it went from being popular to being practiced by about 70 to 100 million people at a time when there were only about 61 million members of the Chinese Communist Party. Uh-oh. That's when there was a slight change in dialogue. The People's Daily reports that Falun Gong is an evil cult. Falun Dafa is an illegal organization and the decision is to outlaw it. And so practitioners became the subject of a systematic persecution that permeated all levels of society. Jiang Zemin, the leader of the CCP at the time and instigator of the persecution, came up with a three-pronged attack ruin their reputation, bankrupt them financially, and destroy them physically. So if a factory hired someone who practiced Falun Gong, no one would get their bonuses. If your spouse practiced, you could get fired. State-run media was saying it was a suicide cult that drove people to murder their own children, so kids were terrified of their own parents. Children of practitioners were also expelled from school, and if they were so unlucky as to have two parents in the labor camps, they ended up on the streets. The idea was to leave practitioners nowhere to turn, so they'd be hated at all levels of society. It became a convenient scapegoat. For example, in 2008, a massive earthquake struck the Sichuan province. Almost 70,000 died, thousands of which were children who were killed when their schools collapsed because officials were embezzling money meant for building materials. They called it tofu construction. So as parents of the dead children were being detained and threatened for questioning authorities, do you know what the official government response was? Falun Gong practitioners are celebrating the earthquakes and blocking donations. And it worked. In New York, violent mobs flooded the streets and threatened American Falun Gong practitioners. And I just want to be clear on this. In the last episode, I said that the evidence for forced organ harvesting was circumstantial. This is not. We have hard evidence for the persecution of Falun Gong in China. It's been confirmed by the UN, Amnesty International, and has been condemned by governments around the world. But there's more to this story than meets the eye. On the next episode of China Uncensored, I delve into the reasons why the Chinese regime has singled out this group above all others for forced organ harvesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.